We're talking with Bertie Gilbertson with his Piper Cub uh, quarter scale. What are you going to show us today, Bertie? Um, I put on my uh, Piper Cub hat so it's official, and I'm going to work on the quarter scale Piper Cub, and I'm going to show some taping. Uh, the Cub is covered with uh, fabric. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, sick coverall, and it's the same type of fabric used on a full scale airplane. Mm -hmm. And I stick it on with nitrate dope. And uh, use the same procedures to do on a full scale airplane. And uh, I use pinking tape to cover the seams and the stress areas mm -hmm. on laundry rounds and so forth. And the tape that I'm using is hair tape. It's what the women use to set their hair. Mm -hmm. And it's just perfect. It's pink tape, like, and it's the same. It's the perfect scale for a quarter scale, it's a half inch wide. Mm -hmm. And I found out I could buy this at the um, drugstore. And then it's, it's thin and it sticks good, and when we do over it, it just it works out really nice. It looks just like a full scale tape. So I, what I do, I put all the seams where I've got dope. I start putting the tape on. Carefully get it in the center, and then when you work the tape, just keep it in the center. Then you can roll the tape out. It goes right down toward the seams. You work it down with your finger a little bit, smoothen it out. You keep going. Then you, you see that you get it right in the center of your seam. So it covers both edges. What it does, it reinforces. It reinforces the seam. So when you paint, you get a stronger seam. And that's the same as you do on the full scale cub when you cover that. So that's that's what I'm doing now. Before you put the first coat of dope on, a clear dope, nitrate, thinned out, you put the tape on first. Right in the center of your seam, because of where you've doped. So it makes a real neat, makes a real neat, uh, Oh, that's uh... See, you turned it over on its side, okay? To finish up this, okay. Yes, I turned it on and it run this heat. All the way to the end. <clears throat> I need the scissors. And you snip and it off. So I tape the seam all the way to the end. You cut it off. So you can go around just a little bit uh -huh. around this post for the rudder. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another seam. That's that tape and ready to go. Okay, then. Now the next one I would do would be the one on the side. There's a joint here, and it's also where um, where the fabric comes over the edge where it's tight, where it would maybe wear a little more. And you put the red pinking tape on there. That's all that. But before I do it, there's a little bit of 
the rough spot from the rope there is that they some real fine sandpaper. You've got to be real careful so you don't sand through the, fa yeah. mm -hmm. the fabric. And you just run it over just a little bit in case in case there's a little piece of of uh, nitrate dope when you stick the fabric on case it should be beaded a little bit. But you got to be real careful with that because if you sand through the fabric it then uh, you'd have to start a new piece of cover again. little piece of fabric that stuck up a little bit here with a little dope on it. I can smoothen that off a little bit. <laughs> 